सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ फाइनेट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस आई एम भाविक सोने जी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ वेटेड रेसिड्यू मेथड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड In the previous video, we have seen a weighted residue method and its various approaches, like uh, Galerkin method, Galerkin approach, collocation approach, and least square method. So let's understand uh, one numerical based on weighted residue method. Uh, let me give you a little history, historical uh, background of this method. First of all, this method has been Uh, introduced for solid mechanics problem and after that uh, it is also been used or developed for other branches like uh, heat transfer or fm or fluid mechanics electromagnetic field and uh, various other engineering problems so let's understand it uh, first by its basics uh, which is a solid mechanics problem and uh, we will start from understanding one problem of a simple cantilever bar so for better usage of your screen so this is the cantilever bar which is having a uniform cross section area uh, it has two end this is fixed end x is equal to 0 and this is free end which is x equal to l the length of this bar is capital l and it is under axial loading condition so q0 is the axial load which is applied on the on its axis total length is l in x direction we are taking it so first of all uh, all of we know that we have to uh, convert this problem into mathematical formula and probably we are converting this uh, problem into differential equation first so what we know about this problem first of all we know that this free a uh, fixed end is fixed from this point and it is free from this point so at the fixed end we do not have any uh, deflection so due to this axial load it will get deformed and uh, there will be some deformation so let's say deformation or deflection is u so what we are going to do uh, we will convert this problem into mathematical formula and q0 is the axial load so our governing equation will be like this a is the cross section area of the bar which is uniform throughout the length uh, then this bar is made up of some material so here the material property uh, we consider this bar as elastic material so capital e will be the modulus of elasticity so a into e into 
d square u by dx square plus the axial load which is equal to zero so this will be our uh, differential equation or governing equation now in the previous uh, session i have talked about the boundary conditions so let's understand uh, in our problem what are the boundary conditions so uh, now we know that uh, if uh, the axial load is applied over here it will not get deflected from the fixed end so deflection at the x equal to 0 the deflection value will be 0 and uh, so this will become our first boundary condition second boundary condition will be here at the free end the slope of the deflection that means du by dx equal to 0 here we are taking x equal to l so this will become our second boundary condition so these values we know from our side so that's why those are known as boundary conditions now what we need to do for this uh, problem we have to solve this problem so the unknown here is deflection u so we want to find out u in this problem so how we are going to do this first we need to assume a trial function for trial solution first so step number 1 is assume a trial solution so what we are assuming here that u u equal to u we want to find out u will be the component of some coefficients constant coefficient c0 plus c1x plus c2x square now this function depends on our governing equation so the order of this governing equation is 2 or degree of uh, this differential equation is 2 so up to 2 we have to go so in the trial function we have assumed that it is uh, made up by c0 plus c1x up to c2x square now in the second step we need to apply boundary conditions so all the boundary condition we need to apply so first uh first boundary condition we know at x equal to 0 the value of u will be 0 so putting in our uh, trial solution or trial function the first value if we put here we will get u equal to 0 c0 plus c1 into 0 plus c2 into 0 square so basically we will get c0 equal to 0 so this will become our first equation then applying the second boundary condition so for second boundary condition what we need to do we need to differentiate by uh, differentiate the solution by x so differentiating this solution by x du by dx we will get uh, 
c0 is constant here so it will become 0 uh, c1 into x that will become c1 and here it is power of 2 that's why 2 comes down 2 c2 x so first we have found the dy by dx first and now putting the value x equal to l So this side becomes 0 at x equal to L. So instead of x, we need to write L. So it will become C1 equal to minus 2Cl into L. So this will become my equation number 2. So what we have found in first we have found 0 coefficient. Here we have derived a relation between C1 and C2. Now uh, putting the value of these things C1 and C0 into this equation we will find third equation that is u equal to c0 is 0 0 and instead of c1 we can write minus 2 c2 l into x plus c2 x square so it will become u equal to c2 will uh, be common here so taking out c2 taking out the c2 minus 2 l into x plus x square so this this is our equation number 3 So now further we will do next step that is step number 3. So next step is step number 3. So now here the weighted residual method comes. So in weighted residual method what is uh, phenomena is we uh, Assume that the residue is 0 or residue is max, uh, minimum. So here we are taking the residue form in the form of governing equation. So what was our governing equation? Governing equation is like this. So this uh, governing equation will become our residue and uh, we assume that the residue is 0. So now from equation 1 and 2 here you can see uh, we can put the value of uh, u here in our trial function like uh, this from equation 1 2 and 3 we have come to solution that it is like this so here the deflection is depend on one coefficient c2 and two variables length and x so here x and L are the variable and C2 is the constant or coefficient. So uh, now in the form of uh, residue here you can see it is differentiated twice we have to find out du square by dx square. So putting the value of u 
here in this equation it will become rd equal to a into e so uh, if we do the uh, differentiation two times with respect to x we will get value of u equal to 2c2 so now we know that the residue value is 0 so here instead of rd we will write 0 ae into 2c2 plus q0 so now we can find c2 c2 equal to minus q0 divided by 2ae so now this is equation number 4. So putting all this value into the u equation number 3, we can find the final solution. So solution will be putting this value into equation number 3. So u equal to instead of c2 we have to write q0 by 2ae minus 2lx plus x square. So now you can see we have generated the relation between deformation or deflection. in terms of cross section area which is known to us uh, material property modulus of elasticity that is known to us variables like x and l that is also known to us and q0 that is coefficient so we have converted we have found if we know all this value which is known to us we can definitely find the deflection. So, uh, in this method, in this way, you can find out the solution. So, hope you find it useful. Thank you. For